Hello, today we're talking about files, which are another uh, abstraction that is provided by the operating system. <clears throat> so a file is just a sequence of bytes. Uh, and in Linux, a lot of different things are represented as files by the operating system. Uh, and in particular, all input and output uh, is performed by reading and writing uh, files of, of varying types. Uh, and the raw format, uh, if a file is stored on disk, is determined by the file system. Uh, there are a lot of common file systems that you may have heard of, uh, like FAT32 or NTFS. So the basic file op operations include opening a file, which returns a handle to the file in the form of a file descriptor, uh, which is an integer identifier. Uh, you can change the current position in the file using uh, what's called a seek operation, which you've already used in the, the projects in this course. Uh, of course, you can read and write bytes, uh, and then uh, when you're done with the file, you should close it, although the, uh, the operating system kernel will do this if the process does not. So regular files uh, contain any sort of arbitrary data that uh, the user of the program might want to store. Uh, we, we do sometimes make a distinction between binary versus text files, uh, but this is kind of an application only uh, uh, distinction, right? Uh, and this reinforces the concept that the context is crucial, right? So all of the files are binary, right? They're all stored on, on disk and in uh, memory as uh, binary bits. Uh, and so a text file is just a binary file that we have made the decision to interpret uh, as being uh, in some sort of character encoding. So, you know, under the hood, it's just bits. But if we have decided that this is going to be a file that we're going to treat as a text file, that means that we are going to assume that it's in some particular uh, file uh, or character encoding, uh, such as ASCII or uh, maybe UTF-8. There are also directory files, which are special files that contain links to other files. There are also some special links, such as the, uh, the dot link to self and the dot dot link to the parent. Uh, and then there are also socket files, and these are links to other processes, uh, which may uh, or may not be on the same computer. Uh, and this is used for inter-process communication, sending data back and forth between uh, multiple processes. Uh, and you will uh, begin to use these starting in uh, the next course in the system sequence, which is uh, CS361. So some other important concepts here uh, are the idea of a pipe, which is a link between two processes. Uh, and this persists as long as the process is running. Uh, you can also have named pipes uh, that persist outside of, of processes. But this is a, a fairly common way of uh, taking the output of one process and uh, making it the input to another process. And we'll come back to this concept uh, a little bit later. Uh, there are also uh, links in a uh, file system. So some files are just special files that refer to other files. Uh, so there are symbolic or soft links, which just contain a reference to another file. Or there are also uh, something called a hard link, uh, which is just a pointer to a shared inode. And, and we'll talk about what an inode is here uh, in a minute. There are also character and block devices which provide uh, access to hardware. We uh, often make the distinction between buffered and unbuffered uh, uh, devices. Uh, and you know uh, uh, these include things like hard disks and keyboards and printers and terminals. So all of these are, are uh, various types of devices that are modeled as files uh, under Linux. There are also a few pseudo devices uh, in Linux. So these are some utilities that are provided by the operating system. So there's a uh, dev null, which famously uh, discards all the input and produces no output. So if you want to uh, take the output of a program and you, you don't care about it, you just want it to go away, you can, uh, you can create a pipe that sends it to dev null and uh, you'll never see it again. Uh, there's also dev zero, which just outputs a continuous stream of zero bytes, which is useful in some cases. Uh, and then there are also also the very useful dev random and dev u random, uh, which you can use to uh, generate pseudo random numbers. Uh, so these are just a few definitions that will be helpful as we talk about files. <clears throat> 